If it's not a soul, what do we want to call it? Whatever that is. And this is what my mom's depicting in all these self portraits. It's not her body. It's, in a sense, the self behind the eyes. It's who we are in our bodies, whoever that is, whatever that is, wherever that is. It's who am I? What am I doing? Why am I here? These are the questions that her bring, work brings up. When I look at the mirror, is that me? You know, that's, that's what the self-portrait is, uh, how that functions. And I think that's really what interested her. She was never, ever interested in a career. Never. I've talked to young artists after my mom became famous, and they were just so impressed because they could tell it meant nothing to her. It really didn't. Somehow, it all happened amazingly, at, in the last five years of her life. The only reasonable facsimile of me is in my shadow. My father was taking pictures all the time. My mother took thousands, they just took pictures, pictures, pictures. She always, every roll of film, there was some picture of a shadow in that roll of film. She always had it. In a way, the shadow is the image of self. You know, just our, our silhouettes. We are a species, as she says. We are no better than trees. We think we are because we have thoughts, as we understand trees do not. But I don't think she believed that. I think she understood all living things to be equally important, and that's what this is. The passion. There's too much passion in her body, too much, she was uncomfortable. She had to let it out. The intensity of her gaze, you know, now she becomes a bigger than life person and we all recognize that, but she always was like that from the very, very beginning. The last five years, she's in the process of leaving this earth. So these birth pictures have to do with that. I live, I die, I'll be reborn. Well, this is the rebirth. As it turned out, she had this weirdo hallucinatory experience of the whole world somehow just giving her homage. How, how, why, what, what's going on here? So weird. And for me, to be in this room, to talk about my mother like this is so weird. Think about yourself in a giant white box talking about your mom and, you know, where she was just like your mom and then she turned into an icon and we got to start talking about her in a very different way. So in a funny way, when she became famous, that's when things changed. That was already on the way out. All this work has to do with this, this exiting. It's a big exit. She had a big entrance and she had a big exit. <laughs>